Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create an update query. So on the screen, I've got a database and some tables there, and I'll just open this one, address details, you can see that. So I want to create an update query that's going to update this date checked field with whatever date I say. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just close this down. And then you go to create query query design so once you go into query design you need to add the table so just drag that across and then we need to select from this query type list update and then you get this change at the bottom there it says update to and then criteria so let's get rid of this so i need to update the date checked field so i'll bring that down and I want to qualify it by the city field, so I'm going to bring that down as well. Now, if I just type a date in there, that will um, work. But every time I run this query, I'll have to come into the edit mode and change the date. So what I want to do is use an, a parameter query so I can change the date quickly. So parameter query, square bracket, and then a prompt inside that, enter the date close square bracket and then I, I need to do the same for the city field square bracket enter the city that you want to update and notice that that is on the criteria line so that's going to update the date that's going to update the city so only the city um, that I select will have the date updated so if I run this it asks me for the date, so I'll put to what's the day's date? 050321. Press enter. Now it's asking me for the city, so I'll type Bradford. It's telling me I'm going to update five rows. Yes. Now nothing nothing's appeared. But what you have to do with an update query, it's slightly different to the other queries. The other queries, you would see the results. What you need to do is just open address details and look for today's date in that date checked field. So there's Bradford. There's today's date. Bradford, today's date. Bradford, today's date, etc. There's five, there's five records. Now, if I go and do that again, if I run that again and... Um, Put tomorrow's date in there the sixth just to, in fact i'll do it for leads i'll just better check where is the leads yeah there's one two three four leads so if i run this again and put the date in the sixth six of the third 21 and it's going to be for leads and it's going to tell me it's updating four records yep and then i have a look and now we're looking for leads and that's updated it to the six. So you're qualifying the update with the city field. Now, if I save this query, I'll call it QRY update. If I date checked update, so I know what it's doing. Now it has a different symbol to normal queries. And if I close this, what will happen now is if I just double click on that, it just tells me I'm going to run an update query, yes, and then it starts the process again. So I'm just going to cancel off. And that's basically how you create an update query. They're very easy to use, they're very common when you're using an access database, but they can also be quite dangerous if you're not careful and not sure what's happening. So obviously I've changed all those dates, but I've got quite a lot of warnings. I'm going to open a different database and just show you what can happen if you are not careful and don't do this correctly. So I've opened a database that's got some figures in it, some salary figures. This database, the staff, uh, staff details table, it's got a salary uh, field. So let's say I want to give everybody a 10% increase on that salary field. So I'll close that down, go create query, query design, bring the table in. So I just want the salary field. Drag that down or double click it down, whichever. Change this to an update query. And then let's do this. 
So before I do it, let's just have a quick look at some of the figures so we know. So the top one's on 30,000, so let's see what happens. So update salary field. And I'll do times 1.1, times 1.1. So that is a 10% increase. And there's no qualifying field, so that means everybody is going to get that. So if I run this, you're about to update nine rows. Yes. Let's have a look. And now it's gone up by 10%, 33. You can see it's changed there. Now, the danger of this is if people are clicking buttons that you attach this to and if, uh, as you develop your database and they don't know what's happening, they keep running it. Because every time you run this and they keep saying yes, not knowing what's happening, each time you do that, you are adding 10% on. And then how many times did you do it for you to undo that? It would be a disaster. Um, but let's go and change this slightly. So if, say, I want to qualify this by department, just double click department down and do the same. I'll do a parameter query and put enter department. Close the square bracket on that one. So now it's going to update by 10% by department, or I could do it by surname even if it's just an individual person you want to update. But let's run this one. So the department I'm going to do is training and it will update three roles with three people in training and open staff details. Can't really tell what it did. I'll run it again, but that's on 37. So if I just run that again, so we'll see what it actually did. Training. Three rows, yep, have a look. Now it's on 40, so it's done that. So that's an update query, two different examples of it. And again, I'll just save this. I'll call it QLY salary update. Sometimes you might not want to save these update queries because of what I've just said, and if it's like this one. So if that was a straightforward, everybody by in the in the training department is going to get a 2% pay rise. You could do that one, then delete the query. You don't have to have it saved. Um, the one in the other database where you're changing a, a check date, that's more likely to be saved. This one probably be create it and activate it and then delete it. But that's um, how you create an update query. So that's all I wanted to go through on this little session. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.